Hey YouTube, what's up? Zombie Kangaroo here. I'm gonna do a quick little tutorial on how to first off play Game Boy Advance games on your computer um, through emulation, and secondly, how to put a Xbox 360 controller to use on your computer so you can play Game Boy Advance with a 360 controller on your computer. Um, I have links to the right. The first link is going to be to the Xbox 360 extractor where it's um, a file from Microsoft. You can find it on your own if you want. It's not that hard. Um, but go ahead and download that. And once you download it, double click it and it'll extract all the files to um, wherever they need to be extracted to. And then after you do that, when you plug in your 360 controller, which has to be USB, by the way, it has to be able to plug in. Um, and no, the plug and play thing doesn't work. It has to be actual like USB 360 controller. But after you use this, you can hit the center button or your guide button for your 360. And this should come up to see how it's working. Okay, so once you got your 360 controller up, then you want to download the second file I'm giving you in the comment box called XPatter. Then once you download that, double click and install. After you install, go ahead and run it. Just go ahead and hit start for that. Okay, and then you get this. So, um, yeah, you can actually program your buttons with that. So if you want to do that, just hit this control up here, hit new, and you get all these, and then you go into sticks, hit enabled, hit all, hit, uh, as it says up here, hit left with your analog stick, and now I got it up. So you continue to do that whole way through, D-pad, enable it, hit up, down, left, right, and then you got all those. And same with your buttons. It's just hit all the buttons and everything. And then after you do all this and everything, so let's say we are done here, and we close this out. And now you can set uh, what buttons are what. So for here, I'm going to say Z and X, and for... These I'm going to put up, left, right, down. And then your 360 controller should respond to these over here, as you can see. Okay. And then you could just um, minimize that. And then the third thing that is in my... Uh, description box is the actual Game Boy Advance emulator where just double click the Visual Boy Advance and install and after that runs you can actually just go ahead and bring that up I don't know how fast this is going to be because I'm kind of recording my computer while doing this so but then you file open and then on your own, you have to go find ROMs and everything. They're not that hard to find. Just go to Google and type in R-O-M-S ROMs, um, Game Boy Advance, and there's like a 1,007 download sites for it. Um, yeah, you can get pretty much any game you have. Um, this is legal if you have the copy of the game. If you have the copy of the actual game, this is completely legal. If you don't, I suggest you go buy the game. Um, I have copies of all these games because I'm a Game Boy fanatic. But uh, after you file open and load the ROM, it should start playing. So there you go. And I have a save point on here, I hope, I think. Yeah, there it is. 
and you can just load from wherever you want. And then with my Xbox controller, I am doing this. So this is all my Xbox controllers. And yeah, there's um, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. You can also full screen this. I'm not going to full screen it because my camera is kind of like caught on this. But um, yeah, so. And once again, just to show that the Xbox 360 controller was on. See, it stops it now. Then you play it and then you move around freely. Okay. Um, so this is, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it helped out. Hope you have fun. Remember, do not do this unless you actually have copies of the games. Um, Alright, thanks for watching.